Hello everyone, welcome back to Tundra Witch Doctor in the Kitchen. I'm your host, Julie. Um, tonight we were supposed to do pistachio crusted frog legs, but I'm kind of in a place where they don't have frog legs often. Um, kind of hard to get a hold of and with COVID and the whole supply chain thing, we ended up basically having to sub with alligator meat. This is where I got the book, or this is where I got the recipe for it. So it's not necessarily an online thing. It's Feeding Hannibal, a connoisseur's cookbook. Yes, it's based off the Netflix series. Um, we'll let you know how it is in just a second. So as you can tell, everything's kind of gone upside down with this whole uh, recipe for tonight, but I'm sure it'll still turn out good. We'll find out in the end. We're right in the beginning of frying up some alligator. Um, Hopefully it turns out yummy. I've had alligator before, but I'm also in a land where alligator is not common, so it's not so fresh. So for a lot of recipes, I do see that frog legs can be substituted for alligator meat, which is why we went with alligator meat. That I can find it where I'm at. It is turning out quite nicely though. So this is our final product of the pistachio crusted alligator in placement of chicken, not chicken wings. What are those things called? Frog legs. Frog legs. There we go. <laughs> That's what happens when you live in the far north. Um, we will try it out here in a bit. All right, so tonight's drink, most people are doing fizzy things. We're not gonna do a fizzy thing. We wanna forget 2020, so we're doing a maple bourbon smash, something with good taste, but gets the point across that we don't wanna remember 2020. So we're gonna start out with a half ounce of maple. That's not the maple, that's the bourbon. And this is a drink that we're gonna build in the cup. Get that in there. And just so you know, I don't have all the stuff yet, so I am a little bit ghetto and getting some of my fresh squeeze stuff going on. I did a whole blend it down and then drain it, get rid of the pulp, but it is coming. I have a very supportive boyfriend who got me a really awesome juicer that's on the way. So next is the orange juice, freshly squeezed of course, and then some lemon juice. And then we're going to get some of our Angostura bitters. And of course the link to the video will be placed in the description box in case you want to try this on your own. The next lovely thing we have going on, I'm so excited for this part, I don't even know why. We get to use an orange wheel and I get to use my muddler, that's I think why I'm so excited. So I haven't gotten to use it yet. And of course, now the important part, the bourbon. And we're going with the Devil's Cut bourbon because, you know, like we said, we want to forget 2020. And we want some good flavor to it, so. I'm gonna to have to double pour this because of the size of my jigger. Well, not quite double pour, just some and a half. Um, then we're going to go ahead and stir that up. these cups this is ice cubes so that we're using um and then I forgot to grab it give me two seconds top 
top it off with some chilled salt syrup. All right, let me run this down the street, drop it off to our friends. They'll send us a video with some tasting notes and we'll have this up for you here in a bit. Hey guys, good evening, this is Chris and I am enjoying some Cajun crusted pistachio alligator that my girlfriend Julie made. We are celebrating New Year's Eve together, just social distancing and she was so awesome. Her and Jeff brought us this goodies uh, with the crusted alligator and we are gonna have a maple bourbon smash. Um, tasted the alligator, it's absolutely amazing, amazing. Hey honey, come check this out. You gotta, you, you gotta taste this. Come taste this. Party, happy new year! What's this? That is Cajun crusted pistachio alligator. Oh. No. That's very good. <clears throat> it does not taste like chicken. That's very firm white meat. I like the, the crunchiness of the crust. And there's some uh, that pistachio is, whoa. A little bite in there from that Cajun stuff. I like that. Woo. Happy New Year. And I'm gonna be the one that does the drink. Let's get a taste of this. Oh wow, that's really good. Um, I would say that it is tart um, and sweet. Uh, they complement each other very well. Um, but it's not overpowering, so you're able to enjoy the taste of the bourbon. Um, goes very well with the alligator, actually. I really like that drink. Julie, you did amazing. Happy New Year to both you and Jeff. Thank you again, and we will see you next time. All right, y'all, Happy New Year. So this is our pistachio, pistachio crusted alligator that we have going on. And we have our maple bourbon smash because we don't really want to have a fizzy, fun-loving memory of 2020 because not too many people have this anyway. So, cheers. Can taste the bourbon. There's the orange notes that are following. I'm guessing those are the bitters right there that I'm tasting. Excellent as always. Well, that's sweet. Yeah, no, I like it. I think it's perfect, perfect ending drink for 2020. And now we're gonna try our alligator here. Nobody. <laughs> Our helper wants to try it. <laughs> I like it. It's really good. The alligator, I was, <coughs> I was expecting it not to be so good since it's not fresh. But it's pretty good. Oh. I like it. Definitely going to have to try it with frog legs once I can get my hands on some frog legs. All right. Happy New Year. We'll, we'll see you in the next video. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell, do the things.